28.6 from Wallatangala. It's the new British record. I don't want any surprises. I want to win the onions. I want to win the uh, tomatoes. See, I feel like you guys aren't here for the prizes. You're just here for the rivalry. Who knows what we'll get until the end of the day. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Nico. How are you? I'm splendid this morning. How good. have you been? I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I love being called Curtis. Uh, yeah, I've been good, mate. Where are we standing? Uh, we're standing on the main causeway of the uh, Melbourne Three Counties show. We're headed to check out some shows, speak to some of the fabulous punters we've got around, probably check out some veg. Some veg? Anything special about the veg? Well, we've had there's apparently some world records oh, and they're quite records. big or something. Oh, I've heard about world records, yeah. OK, well, let's go see if we can see some world record breaking veg, speak to some people, have a good day. Yeah, right, let's go then. check it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So we've made our way across to the Canon UK National Giant Vegetable Championships tent over here. So we're going to check inside the tent, uh, meet some of the growers. Yeah, what, uh, what are you looking forward to see? Some big vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Craig from Guinness World Records. We're here in the early doors of, of the show. Um, have we seen some world records already? Well, I think the um, yeah the aubergine looks like it's officially beaten the record, uh, and that's definitely that's a can of aubergine. That's a just, just to confirm Peter, that, is Peter a, that is a uh, can of aubergine. Yeah, and Peter's been in the, the records books on and off you know, for years, yeah. and you see the same faces: Ian Neil, there was Joe Atherton, and they just know what they're doing. So yeah. they are they are the Usain Bolts of their trade, you know. Let's see if we can speak to Peter Glazebrook over here for a moment. Are you uh, a bit nervous about someone turning up with a bigger aubergine? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, you you've got that in the bag now. <laughs> that one's yours, is it? <laughs> what do you think you are most confident on for the categories at the minute? I am hopefully set the new world record today for the heaviest broad beat. Oh, I bet that broke Peter's heart, didn't it? He was trying for that before you. <laughs> and you, you jumped in and <laughs> wept yeah. away from him. Yeah, we're here with uh, Clive Bevan. I, I don't know if I'm going to get a, a red card, but as long as I can get a couple of cards, enough to make it worthwhile come in, and uh, then uh, see how it goes. Here we go. OK, Nico, I've got a game. You wait at the end of the longest radish, I'll go to the other side. Can you hear me, Curtis? Yeah, how's it going over there, mate? That's a hell of a radish. So who won the kohlrabi this year? It may well have been Mr. Glazebrook again. It was, but it was also Mr. Atherton over here. Oh my so God, yeah, they're tied. Two of our growers tied on the kohlrabi this year. Okay, the card's out. It is official, guys. There we are from Mr. Peter Glazebrook himself. Throwing in Coco Coya. Let's be honest, this is what everyone's in the room for, the pumpkins. So a lot of people keep asking us, like, oh, do these take much longer to grow? Yeah, is it a two-year process, a yeah. three-year process? Same, same season as normal, but just giants. We've got a world record over here as well, so let's make our way over to the marrows. There it is. New world record marrow. Absolute beast. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're here with Vince Jardine, is, uh, with his new world record marrow. It was. It's nice to get a world record after five years trying. Probably 12 months effort to get something like that. Oh, well, I, I put uh, fish cuts in my soil. Raw Make, fish cuts? Raw, raw fish cuts in my soil, maybe uh, October, November. So a lot of preparation work for it, mainly. It, it's all preparation if you want to grow something big, isn't it? OK, so all day I've been talking about the science, and obviously at Canner it's very important to us. So I'd like to introduce a very special guest at this point, someone you might not have seen before. He's a bit camera shy, my friend Nico. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful, wonderful introduction there. One of the main things we like to do is just try and raise people's awareness of growing in general. So, you know, things about companion planting, the wider scope of growing in the environment. What's been your favourite part of the show so far, you'd say? Um, seeing the pumpkins up there, they are big. Incredible. It's like Jurassic Park meets vegetable land. It's so lovely to be here at Malvern after such a strange time. It's really lovely to see so many people getting back together again after lockdown. What Absolutely. a good event and the weather's kind too. Uh, really interesting, really interesting. I think it's great for the kids. I think it's been amazing. I'm really inspired by the whole 
vegetables, you're growing your own vegetables anyway. It's really educational and I think it could encourage the younger generation to take an interest more. So we've got world records here, longest leak and the heaviest broad bean pod. Uh, and here I've got the heaviest aubergine record here for Peter as well. And how many do you have total, Peter? It was 17 I've heard, is that what you, you hit? 17 world records now. Absolutely. You've had 17, and Joe yourself? 16. Oh, look at that. It's not a race, gents, it's not a race. <laughs> That's excellent. Right then, Nico, we're here with the Bluebird Bells. Is that right? Well done. <laughs> yeah, I got it right. <laughs> but um, we found these guys and they very, very, very kindly agreed to do a little ditty for us. I think that's fair. Yeah, so I think we'll just let you guys take yeah, it. Take it away. Yeah, all the best. <laughs> Canny UK, National Giant Vegetable Championships, brought to you by Nico and Cut. Wow, <laughs> that was amazing. First time, killed it. Okay, the Bluebird Bells, everyone, the Bluebird Bells. <laughs> Nico, <laughs> it's been a great day, right? Oh, absolutely fantastic day. Everyone smashed it. Four world records in the tent. Three of them with Canna. Indeed, indeed. Absolutely smashed it. Happy punters, smiling faces. Looking forward to next year? I uh, couldn't be looking forward to it more. Yeah. Well, that's, that says it all, guys. Me too. Take care.